Hey guys, welcome back to a new pickup video. Um, I have a good little stack of stuff to go over here. Uh, this is about the last month and a half, maybe two months worth of pickups. And this was delayed mainly because of the Scream Factory sale. Uh, they had a really decent sale around Halloween time. And usually their sales aren't much better than what you can just get normally once you factor in shipping and taxes and everything. But most of these are about 15 bucks from Scream Factory's site directly. So I think they were hit pretty hard. I think they were inundated with orders. So it took a while to get everything else out, but um, We'll start with this one here really quick. This is everything, everywhere, all at once. Got this on Amazon for about 10 bucks. I thought it was a steel book. I guess I didn't read the description because you have the rounded corners on the slip here. But it's 4K for 10 bucks. I've heard good things. I wanted to check it out. So I figured I'll just go ahead and pay 10 bucks for the uh, physical copy rather than doing like a you know $6 video on demand or whatnot. So um, the rest of these, or most of the rest of these are from the Scream Factory sale. This is the Evil of Frankenstein with the slip. Really like these old Hammer films, the old you know, the Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee ones especially. So, uh, and these were uh, again from the Screen Factory uh, sale from their website directly. Uh, I have not seen this one. If I, if I have, it's not been for a long time. So uh, this will sit on the shelf for the rest. I got a ton of these other old Hammer ones here. So uh, I tried to get as many as I could in the sale while trying to mix in some other stuff as well. Uh, Brides of Dracula, again, Peter Cushing hammer with the slip really nice uh, I own the original pressing of this but it does not have the slip cover this is motel hell this is the steelbook limited edition and I want to say this is uh the 4k uh, remaster the 4k scan and uh, it's going to replace the uh, regular uh, HD original release that I've got um, I like having this the screen factory slips for some reason but uh, <laughs> If I can't get them, um, the steel books are a nice replacement, and the slipcover for this is stupid expensive. So, for like ten, fifteen dollars, this was a really, really good replacement, uh, and uh, negates the need for me to get the slipcover for my original release. Memoirs of an Invisible Man, and this is the only one I believe in this whole stack that I've actually popped open and watched. Um, John Carpenter directed this one. Chevy Chase, J.R. Hannah star in it. Uh, Sam Neill's in it as well. So Sam Neill was kind of. Uh, not really a regular, but he was in Mouth of Madness, which was also a John Carpenter movie. Um, but not your typical Carpenter fair. Um, this holds up for me, though. This is kind of one of those nostalgic pieces. This would be on you know, HBO back in the day. And um, maybe more of like a, a demo reel, like a, an effects reel, because this was a really early uh, piece of uh, like all the different uh, CGI and digital effects. Um, they were done really well, and they, they show their age, but they kind of hold up. But the film itself, you know, it, for me, it, it still kind of hits. Uh, decent film, really enjoy it. And for 15 bucks, figured why not throw it in the collection? This one I'll probably watch every now and again. Screen Factory again, April Fool's Day. The original Teen Wolf, uh, Teen Wolf 2 was on sale through Screen Factory's sale as well, but it's awful i really couldn't justify even you know seven ten dollars whatever the price was for it uh not nearly as good as the original and you know for being a completionist for something i just really couldn't justify team wolf 2 it's really just that bad i probably never would have watched it curse of the werewolf I believe this is another uh, one of those old hammer ones with no slip gate 2 sequel to the gate with steven dorf and uh, I don't think Stephen Dorff's in this one, but the uh, the friend that was in the original, I believe, is in this one. And um, I don't think I've ever seen it before. So I figured I'd go ahead and pick it up again for a really cheap price, add it to the collection, and complete the series. And Junior Snaps. Um, I've only seen this for the first time recently. It was on the uh, last drive through I think, last year. Uh, really enjoyed it. Really, really cool uh, werewolf film. I um, really enjoyed this one. Lost Boys on 4K, and that was actually the end of the uh, Screen Factory pickups there. Uh, I got this on Amazon a little while ago. I love this uh, this poster right here. It's really, really cool. Um, got this on Amazon, paid like 24 bucks for it, and then they dropped the price down to $9.99, and they don't just price match, so I have to return one to get my money back. So I've actually got another copy of this ready to go back to Amazon. Uh, I wish they just price match. It would save them the, the return shipping on it, so... Um, one copy is going back, and this will be a $10 pickup from Amazon, Lost Boys in 4K, awesome cover art, can't beat it. And I've been waiting for this one for a while, I have not opened it yet, but this is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2, 4K from Vinegar Syndrome, just came out recently, and this is one of my favorite films of all time. 
as if I haven't said that enough, I will buy this every single time it's released on every single format. Uh, this artwork here was used on the original Elite Laserdisc pressing. Uh, I'm not sure the source of this artwork, but uh, I'm, I'm, I've been aware of it for quite some time. So you get um, you know, the old poster, the uh, Breakfast Club poster, the one from the Elite Laserdisc, and then the new one for the Vinegar Syndrome slip. Uh, again, it's 4K. I can't imagine this is ever this ever needs to be on 4K, but um, the Screen Factory release is out of print, and this is the uh, best you're going to get. This is a limited edition from Screen Factory. I don't remember how many units this is uh, limited to, but um, they may or may not go fast because their sale is coming up uh, this week on Black Friday. So really looking forward to opening this. And I don't know how much better it could look than the uh, Screen Factory Blu-ray, but you know it's in 4K, so we'll see if there's any uh, uh, upgrade in picture quality. But I, I just love their packaging. Vinegar Syndrome is awesome. And um, this is probably one of their biggest releases to date. So glad to have it. And the last is a steelbook of Top Gun Maverick. It made like $20 billion at the theater. Um, the sequel nobody asked for, but was way better than it had any right to be. Um, really enjoyed this one, saw it in the theater, and at some point we'll crack it open and watch the uh, watch it on 4K here, because it was a pretty decent movie. So yeah, uh, that's all the pickups I've had for the past month, month and a half, two months. Vinegar Syndrome's Black Friday sale is coming up at the end of this week, so inevitably I'll have, uh, at the very least, their... Uh, new releases as I've already pre-purchased them and then if there's anything else on sale I'll uh, try not to spend too much but I may pick up a few things extra here and there so that'll probably take a few weeks to get here because their sale is big and they have a lot of orders to get through so at some point I'll have a Vinegar Syndrome Black Friday sale update and uh, anything else I pick up in the meantime will be included so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.